it is finally gorgeous spring weather and this week we're installing the fire we started yesterday so let me show you where we're up to we have cut out all of the flooring that we had laid down here so that we can try and make the hearth kind of flush with the flooring so you don't have to stub your toe so we've cut out that flooring and we've put down some fireboard it's all screwed in place so the next job is laying out those slate tiles remember the roof tiles we picked up from a skip a couple of weeks back well we need to line them out make sure we're happy with the pattern and how they're going to fit and then stick them down then we just need to see the back wall put the fire back on it install the flue fire done <laughs> organize them in long ones little ones medium big ones in the hope that might make it a bit easier I don't want to cut any I'm hoping I can just somehow work this out magically so that they don't need any cutting let's see basically juggling this around my actual working day so I've now got to start working so on my lunch break I'm gonna to attempt to lay these down so I'm basically there I need to cut see here I need to cut that bit's overhanging so I need Jack to help me he's not feeling very well so he's still in bed at the minute but when he's up I need to cut that and then I need to cut another bit to go in this gap but apart from that it all fits and I don't think I'm going to be able to get better than that but the good thing is I think it looks really smart so I'm happy with it right two things firstly I've got a cold so if I suddenly start coughing and sneezing then that is why and yeah there's a little bit of man flu involved in that as well second thing I haven't showered for about four days now and it's now starting to show a little bit which is why this room is quickly becoming a priority now in our usual style of blind optimism I don't think the bathroom is going to take us that long to do we've already got vanity unit that we picked up from Facebook marketplace the infamous bath is still in here We've got our compost loo from our old boat back there. So all we've got left to do in here really is install the water pump, put the whale gulper in and try and sort some sort of flooring out. I think we could do it in a week. Trying to work out what floor we were going to put in the bathroom has been a really difficult decision to make. We've been trying to build this boat as eco-friendly as possible, so using natural materials trying to make sure that everything is second hand and reclaimed and so we were looking at maybe putting some cork tiles down in here but then we found this piece of vinyl flooring that was going to go into landfill and it just so happened to be the perfect size for our bathroom and I know it's not very environmentally friendly I mean at the end of the day it is just like one big sheet of plastic that we were putting into here but it's really hard wearing it's easy to put down, it's easy to clean, and it was gonna go in the bin anyway. So thinking about it, as much as I'd love to put some natural cork tiles down in here, I just feel like maybe this is the best choice. And it looks all right too. So whilst Gabby is sorting out underneath the fire, I'm gonna try and get this started today. Now, obviously putting a piece of vinyl down isn't too complicated, but there's a few jobs that we need to do before I can lay it. I mean, obviously I've got to clear this room, there's stuff everywhere. Um, and the other thing is our subfloor, where the like two pieces of ply meet next to each other, sometimes there'll be like a little bit of sponginess between them, there's a bit of movement between the panels. So to counteract that, I've got some thin, like five mil ply, which I'm gonna spread out across the top of the subfloor, um, which should just balance all of that out. Ooh. 
I'm not sure how much more you want to watch of this. Should I just crack on and get these all screwed up and then we'll reconvene? Whilst Jack does the bathroom floor, I'm going to finish off the tiling. Well, so we've had one little issue where I had laid on one of my long tiles on top of another where it needed to get cut and trimmed down. We've been standing on it for the last couple of hours and it's snapped. So I'll just show you this bit here. <laughs> But it does show how easily they break, so hopefully it won't be too hard to fit it up into smaller pieces. We don't have a brick laying trowel. Line this up from a straight edge, sharp edge, whack it. What can go wrong? Oh. I'm not the most accurate. Oh. Yeah, I'm just thinking I'm just going to do my own thing with this. Don't like it, where it's not working. So, I've now got that bit, apart from that little bit, it's all cut to the line, so let's go see if it fits. Do you want to come watch me do the uh, grand finale of my slate cutting? Huh? You want to come watch me do my grand finale? Oh, I'd love to, but I currently am trapped inside the bathroom. I've got all the stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. We'll leave them to it. Right, let's see. <laughs> That is too big. <laughs> Back outside we go, and I need to cut another few millimetres off. Jackson, yeah. whilst I was outside, this is a good one. <coughs> I've got a new business. Oh. Out of these roof tiles, yeah. coasters. I mean, yeah. It's yeah. It's, yeah. Cut to size. I mean, it's quite a big coaster. I could do it smaller. Could you? I could do it smaller. Yeah. But hang on it now. Three roof tiles mm -hmm. made into coasters. I mean, honestly, it's a no-brainer. Get it on Etsy. Get it on Etsy. Help fund the boat build. <laughs> right, let's see if this fits. I'm not gonna have a bit of a gap there. That is what you call perfect. Great. That is a job that started off me thinking I wasn't gonna be able to do it. And I've done it. It just goes to show, doesn't it? That once you don't succeed, just keep on trying and you'll get there in the end. I normally bring in Jack when I give up, but <laughs> when Jack's busy, you've got to do it yourself. This is like forever in here. Oh, I'm really happy. Well right, so all I need to do now is, is try and fill in this space here. And then we're good to adhesive it all down. Okay. Nearly there. I've done it. I'm so happy. That last piece took, I'd say a whole hour just trying to cut it to size. Chopping and changing it and putting it down and trimming it all to size. But it is in and it looks good. So all I'm gonna do is take a photograph of it and then I need to try and replicate it once I put the adhesive down. So I need to take them off in a sensible order. But we're nearly there. feels like we're making really good progress today. So whilst Gabby's been doing the slate half, I've been finishing up in the bathroom, um, getting that five mil ply all screwed in. And now it's time to get the lino down. The only thing that's caused me problems so far 
is um, the fact I've got nowhere to put the bath or this cabinet. So whilst I'm trying to put the vinyl carpet down, I'm having to like lift the bath up with one hand, try and get the carpet underneath. So it's turning into a two person job so that I can hoik it out of the way. Gabby can get the carpet down. We can play the game of Tetris and just move stuff around as we go. It's the fun of building in small spaces. Get the thing out, then I'll put it down, and you've got those two things underneath it. Okay, you lift up a tiny bit. Okay, lower slowly. Yeah, a bit more. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. This up, and yeah. you can kind of. It's a bit awkward. Oh, am I putting this under or are you just going to lift no, it up? No, I'll just lift it up and then oh, you just try and, out. yeah, pop it out. Okay. That's not that strong. Sorry, I need you a higher because it's quite a cumbersome roll, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive. It's so good that it's like the exact perfect width. I hope it's long enough. Without having to cut it. Yeah. Alright, yep. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to go for it, I was going to freestyle. Okay. I might have to move the... <laughs> I might have to move the bath. Jimmy stir. <laughs> no, it's more the... The bath is kind of... I can't move my arm. Right. There's a bath in the way. I'm not moving. Yeah. Stop. Right. What do you think? Brilliant. Oh, how lovely. Bath and flooring. Tick. Done. Great. This won't be our most productive week ever. If, if you compared how long this flooring took yeah. compared to the wooden floor in the rest of the boat, yeah, yeah. would you be tempted to vinyl the whole boat? <laughs> uh, no, I love the flooring in the other half. I, I, love, the, I love it. I, and I love... Although it took a long time, you know, the, the work, it, it's kind of part of the story, isn't it? Yeah, it was worth but, it. But, you know, this this just happened to be the right size bit for what we needed and it's got in nice and quick and it, for vinyl, looks all right. It looks good, actually. Yeah. We were concerned, but... I think it looks good. I think it looks good. Looks good. So what we need to do is move the toilet out of the bedroom. <laughs> That'll be nice, wouldn't it? Into the bathroom. Yeah. We can actually have a wee in the bathroom rather than... It's a bit awkward when one of us wakes up in the middle of the night or first thing in the morning and one of us is desperate for the loo and the other person's trying to have a lay-in. <laughs> so... A lay-in? Yeah. Well, they were saying that, there's not a wall here, so although it'll be in the bathroom, it's... <laughs> the wall is on the to-do list. <coughs> I can't wait to have a bath. Great. That's a long time off. I can't wait to have a shower. That's, a, I need that's a shower. nearly happening. What was it, day five today without showering? Yeah. It's disgusting. Mm. Oof. <laughs> Gross. They put the liter signs on the inside, so you can't see what you're doing. How's anyone supposed to know what that says? How else are you going to read the litre signs? On the outside. Well, no, then you won't see the liquid level. Yeah. Right, that yeah. What we do. You alright today? I've got a cold. I've got Jack's illness. I've gifted you the gift of a cold. And I've, I've been, um, I've, well, you know you wake up really tired. I've woken up really tired. My voice is going and I'm going to start to feel really sorry for myself soon. Well, the thing is you gave me loads of sympathy when it was me with the cold. So. I gave you no sympathy. You were doing my head and you kept banging on about it. We crack on, there is tiles to lay. And are you measuring it out or are you just... I'm just going to free pour. Okay. Is it your inbuilt tiling knowledge? Yeah, I was back to my tiling days. Yeah? So I did lots of tiling on floor of old bone. I tiled the bathroom and I tiled the whole kitchen. That's that. So, you know me. I know my tiling quality. <laughs> Mix to obtain a homogeneous paste-free lump. A what paste? <laughs> Hom homogeneous. 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 <laughs> <laughs> a homogeneous paste. 
Mixed okay, oh, 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 much in this paste. And then allow to stand for three to five minutes before remixing, and the adhesive is ready for application. Mechanical stirrer is preferred. Tough, I don't have one. <laughs> Spread it with a stick using 15 20 minutes of mixing. Perfect. Right, so we get it in, and then we get in there. Let's go. I'm a bit nervous. Oh, this is impossible. I'm going to end up putting the whole bag in. <laughs> do you want me to do it? Yeah, you do it. Do you mind doing it? Oh. Is that a quarter of a bag? No. Even half. Yes. So I've numbered all my tiles, so I just need to put them back out in order. Simple. So I'm going to do the back bit first. Where's the numbers on the tiles? Um, they're in the top right corner of them all. Oh right, what have you done that on? Sharpie. It says it does come off online. We'll see. Right. Okay. So it says you can only um, adjust the tiles for five to ten minutes once you put it down. So I'm kind of used to this bit quicker than I'm doing. Otherwise, what if they set and don't fit in? It'd be awful. So on my phone, I took a picture of where the tiles were and their placement, where the numbers are, so that I can make sure I put them back in the right place. So yeah, four. That's not enough. So you can really help. What's there? One, two, three, four, five. So that'll be seven. <laughs> the sharpie lines that don't come off they'll be numbered forever but you know it's under the fire that's the thing i think you can't really see this that much can you so if it doesn't work as long as it's stuck down maybe why you use sharpie again not something that you can write wipe off <laughs> i couldn't find any jaw and we did have jog in the old boat so when but we've got stuff is all in bags and boxes still around the boat so i've got no idea where the chalk is so I googled it and apparently Sharpie, when in doubt, use a Sharpie on slate. That's, <laughs> That's a well known thing, is it? Yeah, it's a well known. It's, you wouldn't know because you're not a Tyler. Oh no, I don't fit. See, this is what I was terrified of happening. Squidgy. Squidgy that way. Yay. Squidgy that way. Look at it, aren't we? And that is it. Ta da! I think it looks really good. I'm really, really happy with it. It was really stressful. I don't know why. I think it's mainly because you know the tile adhesive is going to set any minute. So I feel like you've got to get it done really quickly. So my concentration was on there rather than talking. But now it's all down. It's all fitting. I think it looks really neat. It's going to look really good. I'm happy with it. Good job. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I'm now mucking around trying to get this cupboard built at the stern of the boat, Ooh, which is um, turning into quite a fiddly job. Uh, next week, we're gonna have a go at getting the flue in for the stove, which is something I'm really nervous about doing because it means having to cut a hole in the actual like metal roof of the boat. So it's gonna be an interesting one. If you fancy watching that video, um, click subscribe down below and the little bell icon next to it, then you'll get a notification for when we upload it. And if you'd like to support the channel, we have got an account on Ko-fi. Um, so if you'd like to buy us a brew, 
it just means that we can keep on creating videos like this and it helps support us a little bit more um, then that link will be down in the description and thank you so much for everyone that has bought us a coffee already because honestly we massively massively appreciate it we're very very grateful that you would do that so yeah if you fancy doing that subscribe to the channel want to check out a Kofi that would be amazing and we'll see you next week for um, the terrifying job of cutting a hole in the roof of our boat <laughs> see you next time <laughs>